turnout. Who would have ever guessed it would be 90-something degrees with plenty of South Georgia gnats? We'll begin this exciting day as I make these opening remarks. The people in charge of getting Phoebe Putney ready to open July 31st, 1911, have a thousand things to do, as it is written in the history from the heart. The list started with broad categories, such as raise money, hire staff, buy equipment. The new hospital was starting from scratch and needed everything. Can you imagine? Sheets, towels, bedpans, napkins, pitchers, pots, pans. A committee of 46 women, one from every block in the city, had to go house to house and collect 10 cents from every household once a month. The children of Albany contributed their nickels and dimes to furnish two rooms in the children's ward. It took seven years of planning and work to open Phoebe's doors to the public. And today, almost a century later, a committee of 30 hand-picked employees led by what we've been called the Dynamite Trio, Marcy McCarty, Tina Phipps, who co-chairs this project, and myself. We are putting the finishing touches on five years the touches on five years of extensive planning to guide our community in southwest Georgia in celebration of Phoebe's 100th year, a century of commitment. We welcome you here today. We have some wonderful guests here, right up here in the front. This is what we're calling our 100-day centennial countdown to July 31st, which officially starts on Saturday. Just moments ago, Joel Wernick, our CEO, joined by four employees, precious children, raised a beautiful new centennial flag at the hospital's entrance. During our time together here today, we're going to give you a glimpse of exciting community events, share in some exciting employee activities, and an array of commemorative items for sale that you'll see over here on the table that will begin being stocked in our gift shop. We're going to unveil the centennial commemorative artwork and most importantly, unveil the Georgia Historical Society marker commemorating the site of the original hospital. So we'll begin the celebration by asking Dr. Doug Patton if he'll lead us in an invocation. And Dr. Patton is, will be followed by Mr. Wernick, who's going to recognize some of our distinguished guests. Dr. Patton. Thank you. 